Dear Epic Games, in a few short words, I can sum up how I feel about this whole year exclusivity deal that you make with every new game coming out, or at least try to. It's complete shit. This is not how you have a healthy competition between Steam and Epic. This is instead Epic's way of trying to outright ring any kind of launch day business from Steam that they can. While that's a smart business move, they seek to take out any of the fun of me wanting to choose the Epic Game Store over Steam and instead force me to keep their launcher on my PC because of how crappy the business is that they pull. They aren't always the instigators, but they are downright trying to throttle Steam for everything it has and in the process make themselves look like some dirty street vendor wanting you to use their business for all of your pleasures despite the fact that you yourself said no a thousand times but you're forced to be reminded of that twitchy dirty little street corner where you go to get your game since nowhere else will have it at the time you force me to go one way and give me no freedom of choice no desire to want to stay with you long term all of these exclusive deals are sweet and yes they nab more money for the actual game make makers which i'm all for but damn it is it just the most irritating thing to know my one and all library will have to wait another year before i can add some of these games to the ranks it just sucks and the moment steam decides to stop what it's doing and actually fight back with lowering with either lowering the cut that they take or some other incentive that is when the battle will rage that is when we will see how stable epic is and to think about it epic is a nice store sure it's okay but where are all of the features that Steam has. For one, there's no mod workshop. There, for another, there's no forums. And to top off everything, there are no fucking reviews. There are pretty much the quick TLDR for me when it comes to me buying a game. I look at reviews and I go, okay, this person liked it. Okay, this person liked it. I can see how much time the person that's reviewing the game has put into it i can read the long blood sweat and tear paragraphs that they put wanting to give people the best information that they can and by the way these reviews have tricked me before with either a troll review or someone that that while they weren't trolling they saw a game and they saw its potential, but they knew it wasn't there yet. But it was enough for me to get the game because from what they said, I would still enjoy the money I was spending. But without reviews, I'll have to go to other sources and perhaps ones that are either biased or unbiased to the situation to the game to the developers to the other things hit pieces are not only on reviews hit pieces are on youtube hit pieces are on pisses hit pieces are on youtube they're on gaming sites they're on pc forums they're on anything reddit so either the good reviews are now going to be shoveled under all the bad press because we love bad press or I'll get lucky and I'll find the right review. YouTube makes it pretty easy, but if I don't use YouTube, it could be pretty hard to find any kind of like straightforward informational review. Besides, I'm a fucking human being and I have enough wit in my brain to be able to tell me when a game is being reviewed bombed or when it just simply is that bad and you can take 
that liberty away from me. But I hope it comes back to bite you in the ass when people write reviews on your epic game store. And with every single blunder that comes along with it. I enjoy the thought of a market in which two stores can duke it out. But I don't enjoy a market where one store is outright trying to kill the other. That doesn't always end up with me getting the 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 best out of this as a result. And I just hope that in the end they'll realize this. That either Steam will come back and and finally give a retort to all of this and say, hey, you give them money. We'll cut our own percentages and compete. I mean, that's their best way. But as for now, this whole thing is just lame. I haven't bought any of the games on Epic Games Store. I don't care about these exclusives. They keep taking people's... They keep taking games that are weeks, months from release that said it will be on Steam and like a flip of a light switch, boom, it's over to Epic, no Steam. That's that's terrible practice. That's terrible practice. Like, to, to mainly just do it right away with giving no consideration to the people who have supported you. If in some of these cases, you would at least talk about what you were doing beforehand, that might help. That would at least soften the blow and maybe make you look a little bit better in the public eye but aside from all that i needed to say this and dear epic games please okay that was close bye